Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, the Kakadash, and come back to you today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of the day's lesson is After the Order of Melchizedek. After the Order of Melchizedek. So the ideal about it, we are in a transition of power, and we are at the in the day, you know what I'm saying? We're right upon Jacob's trouble, at the beginning of Jacob's trouble. So a transition of power is beginning to take place. A lot of things are getting back into order. When you read John 3, 16, you'll tell you, you know, he, you know, he, he son, he's, he's beloved son, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? God so loved the world, Yahweh so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. What world was he talking about? He was talking about the world of Israel, you know what I'm saying? The one third of the house of David, that orderly arrangement, you know what I'm saying? That is after the order of King uh, Melchizedek, you know what I'm saying? So the idea about the king of peace is getting ready to return, and righteousness is getting ready to flourish on this earth once again, you know what I'm saying? And the idea about the title of the day lesson once again is after the order of Melchizedek. And uh, one thing about it is that, you know, order is getting ready to return in a big way. Righteousness, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 everything is getting ready to go back into order the way it's supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? The one third of that great remnant, he's getting ready to return for us. You know what I'm saying? The one that trusts and believes in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So I like to say shalom to all our listeners and learn. I'm hoping that this lesson will help someone through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And we get started in the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 1. So like Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 1. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. Verse 2, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace. So who is that king of peace? And who is Melchizedek? That was Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? And the idea about it is that you know what I'm saying? He, our great Lord and Savior is getting ready to return. You know what I'm saying? You're the king of Salem. You know, Salem also is another another name for Salem is Jerusalem. You know what I'm saying? So he is coming back and to set uh, that throne back up. The king, you know, King David throne back up, back to set up and over and over that uh, uh, rulership will be him first. You know, Yahweh and after Yahweh King David, uh, the 12 disciples and, and also the 144 of the that a great remnant that he's coming back for that government body. So that order is coming back. The government body, the kingdom of heaven is getting ready to return. And in the title of the day lesson, once again, is after the order of Melchizedek. So the idea about it also order mean that, that the arrangement or a disposition of people, you know what I'm saying? Rulership, you know what I'm saying? It's getting ready to come back. Or you know what I'm saying? A, a, a rulership of righteousness, you know what I'm saying? Everlasting kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Now, Lord and Savior, you know, he's getting ready to return and put things back in order right before our eyes. And a transition of power is taking place. We are at the beginning of Jacob's trouble, you know what I'm saying? A, a beginning of sorrow. So the idea about the one that trusts and believes in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? We are waiting on that, and hasting that great and glorious return and waiting on that order. After the order of Melchizedek, it's coming very soon, you know what I'm saying? We are royal priesthood. But now we'll start back up. Let's start back up, get a little bit more edification. Let's start back up Hebrews chapter 7, and we'll start back up at verse uh, uh, 3. Without father, without mother, without uh, 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 descendants, having neither be beginning of days nor end of life, <clears throat> but, made, but made like unto the son of Yahweh, abided a priest continually. Let's read that again. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 3, without father, without mother, without descendants, having neither uh, beginning of days nor end of life, but but make like unto the son of Yahweh abided a priest continually. So that's talking about Yahweh, you know, our Lord and Savior, you know what I'm saying? He is, he is the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Everything was created for him and by him. And the idea about that great order is coming, you know what I'm saying, after uh, <clears throat> uh, after uh, 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 Melchizedek, you know, and the idea about that's that, that's that uh, forever uh, 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 
uh, eternal uh, priesthood. That is return. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the idea about it, if you fall in that lot of, as a prophet, you know what I'm saying? Then you also as a priest also. You know what I'm saying? So we all are getting ready to get ready to fall back on, under that righteous order. So now, <clears throat> let's go to. Uh, let's see where we'll go to now. Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter six. A little bit more edification. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10. And it reads, Thy kingdom come, thy will will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Let's read that again. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So the ideal about it, the heavenly, uh, the heavenly realm, which in fact the fourth dimension, you know, the heavens are all heavens, you know what I'm saying? They are in order, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that order is getting ready to return to the earth once again. Peace and righteousness, you know what I'm saying? That everlasting kingdom, that rulership and dominion over all nations, you know what I'm saying? After uh, Melchizedek, you know, the order after Melchizedek, which in fact the order arrangement, you know what I'm saying? The house of David, that one third remnant, everything is getting ready to go back into order, you know what I'm saying? That transition of power is taking place, you know, so... You know, the men of the Lord are signing crying each and every day. We are seeing it, you know what I'm saying? He's setting it back in order right before our eyes once again. He's doing a powerful uh, uh, work, you know what I'm saying? His, his spirit is visiting the earth now, you know what I'm saying? We can see it, you know, that order is changing, you know, the world is changing, you know, the things are beginning to, to happen because the true name of the Heavenly Father is, are, are in the earth right now, you know what I'm saying? That the true powers are all heavenly earth it, 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 uh, it are in the earth right now, which in fact the Father's name, the great king that sits on the throne is Yahweh, the Son's name, and our great deliverer and our Savior, the one that's on his way to come back to redeem us, is Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? So the idea about that order is coming at a rapid pace. You know what I'm saying? You know, wait, it's time to wake up because our salvation is very close than we than we yet believe. So now let's go to uh <clears throat> let's go to Isaiah chapter nine one moment. Go to Isaiah chapter 9, we start at verse 6. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 9, one moment. Isaiah chapter 9, we start up at verse 6. And it reads, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be, be called Wonderful Counselor, the the mighty power, the everlasting father, the, the, the prince of peace, talking about Yahweh Shah. <clears throat> and that government, that government body to come. You know what I'm saying? That's after the order of male child of that. You know what I'm saying? That order arrangement that is getting ready to return. Verse uh, 7, you know, Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 7. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David. And upon his kingdom, to the order, to order it, and to establish with judgment and with justice from henceforth, ever and forever, the zeal of the Lord, host who will perform it, perform this. Let's read that again. Isaiah chapter nine and verse seven. Of the increase of his government and peace. There shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish with, with judgment and with justice from his force ever and forever. The zeal of the Lord host will perform it. So the ideal about it is that, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that great government body is getting ready to return. You know what I'm saying, the house of David. You know what I'm saying? And that government body starts with Melchizedek, which in fact is Yahweh Shad, our Lord and Savior. After that, it's King David. You know what I'm saying? He's getting ready to set that throne back up. You know, and also the 144 mighty men, the elect, that was preordained to get this. You know what I'm saying? And that that, that, that was chosen for the beginning. You know what I'm saying? That was for the first fruits. They are getting ready to return. You know what I'm saying? That government body. And also the one-third, the believers that, that trust and believe in Yahweh Shah. Myself, we are getting ready. He's getting ready to reestablish that kingdom once again on the earth. And also, you read about it 
in uh, uh, Amos chapter nine and verse eleven, he tells you that you know he will he will he will rebuild the old tabernacles of David. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's happening now. That the third temple is being built right before our eyes. And it's almost built. You know what I'm saying? Because the word of the Lord is going out through the four corners of the earth. You know what I'm saying? And I deal about. He said once. Once this, this this wisdom and knowledge has gone out through the four corners of the earth and the prophet is signing and crying each and every day, then the end shall come. So we are right at the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is right at hand. You know, so after the order of Melchizedek, that, that great order is coming, that world without end. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So a rulership, you know, dominion over nation, spiritual power is coming back in a big way. So now, <clears throat> let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, First Peter. One moment. First Peter chapter two, and we'll start at verse five. First Peter chapter two and verse five. <clears throat> and it reads, Ye also as lively stone are built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shah Masiyah. So who are them lively stones? The men of the Lord that sign and cry each and every day, the prophets, you know what I'm saying? That royal priesthood, you know what I'm saying? After the order of Mel Chazadak, which in fact is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, is getting ready to return. That great, that great kingdom, you know what I'm saying? A kingdom of all kingdoms is getting ready to return to this earth. You know what I'm saying? We will flourish in righteousness forever. We will, we will not be able to go off again. We are in the chain of darkness right now. You know what I'm saying? We're in this flesh, you know what I'm saying? And I feel about it, we must uh, 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 try to uh, do the commandments the best of our ability. We know we're in the flesh, we can't go out, but we are spiritual, you know what I'm saying? So we are strong in the spirit now, uh, but our flesh is weak. But I feel about it, we are getting ready to come back under, under that order, that great order, you know, it's coming down from Yahweh Shah Masiyah. You know what I'm saying? That great kingdom is coming, you know, the kingdom of heaven is right at hand after the order of Melchizedek. So now, <clears throat> let's go to Jude chapter 1. One moment. A little bit more edification. Let's go to Jude chapter 1. And we'll start up at verse 6. Jude chapter 1 and verse 6. And it reads, And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he has reserved in in everlasting change under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Let's read that again. Jude chapter one and verse six. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he has reserved in, in everlasting change under darkness unto the judgment of that great day. And that great day is the return of our Lord and Savior. You know what I'm saying? And I did about to set up this kingdom in righteousness, you know what I'm saying? And I did about peace with flourish, you know what I'm saying? The king of peace is getting ready to, to return. You know what I'm saying? The creator of the whole universe, the king of the universe, is getting ready to return. And that he coming with that government body, he's getting ready to set things back into order and take us out of these chains of darkness. It put us back into our first estate, you know what I'm saying? After the order of Melchizedek, you know what I'm saying, the immortality once again, you know what I'm saying, we get back into rulership, you know what I'm saying, where things supposed to be in the first place, you know what I'm saying, we are last right now, but we will be first in the end, you know what I'm saying, many are called, a few are chosen, and that, that few that is chosen is the elect, the house of David, you know what I'm saying, so we're setting things back into order, so now, <clears throat> let's go to, uh, let's go to Psalms chapter 50, I mean, yes, Psalm chapter 50 and verse 21. Psalm chapter 50 and verse 21. And it read, These things had thou done, and, and I kept silent. Thou, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. But, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thy eyes. So let's read that again, Psalm chapter 50 and verse 21. These things had thou done, and I kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I would altogether such an one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thy eye. So that deal about it, that's what's going on now. Men of the Lord are signing crying each and every day. 
You know what I'm saying? We are being reproved. You know what I'm saying? We are being cleansed through this great wisdom and knowledge. You know what I'm saying? That only comes from Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. And I did about a great and powerful work that's going on now. You know what I'm saying? Our Bible prophets are being fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? We at the beginning of Jacob's trouble, the beginning of sorrow. You know, got to get through this last and final uh, global event. You know what I'm saying? You know, they talking about Maxine. You know what I'm saying? The devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath because he knowing that he has a short time. And he also know that we are in a transition of power. You know what I'm saying? You know, and the kingdom of heaven is right at hand. You know what I'm saying? After the order of Melchizedek, you know, and I deal about that all the arraignment is getting ready to come. That government body is getting ready to be set back up upon this earth. You know what I'm saying? The one that trusts and believes in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? And we cannot wait to that great and glorious day when he set things back in order. He's doing it now, right before our enemies are, and also the two thirds that rebellious house they didn't want to return. Order is coming back. It's coming back very soon. An everlasting order. You know what I'm saying? A peace and righteousness forever and forever. So now, <clears throat> let's go to uh, let's go to First Corinthians, my last and final strip. We'll go to First Corinthians. One moment. First Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians chapter 15. <clears throat> and verse 23, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 23. And it reads, but every man in his own order, Masiach the first fruit, afterward they that are the Masiach at his coming. Let's read that again. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 23. But every man in his own order, Masiach the first fruit, Afterward, they that are Masiach at his at, at his coming. So that deal about it is talking about the, the one third of that great remedy. You know what I'm saying? Everyone is standing in their lot now. Either you're righteous or you're unrighteous. You know what I'm saying? And I deal about it. Everything is falling back into order. And everyone is doing the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? It's Yahweh Shah, the first fruit, which in fact is the elect, that one third of that government body that he's coming back for. You know what I'm saying? He's setting things back into order. After the order of Melchizedek, after the order of Yahweh Shai Masiach, and the first fruits, which in fact is the elect, and you read about that in, uh, in Ephesians, you know what I'm saying? You read about that, that you know, they was preordained and they were chosen at the, at the, at the foundation of the earth at the beginning. They, we, that those first spirit was with him and helped him create everything, you know what I'm saying? And he sought things back in that government body is coming back, you know what I'm saying? So we, we, we must constantly do the work. And constantly trust and believe in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Sigh and cry each and day. We must watch and pray. You know what I'm saying? Because things are getting ready to go back into order. The kingdom of heaven is right at hand. After the order of Melchizedek. And I like to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rekakadash. And I like to say, Shalom.